Hey everyone. No, this is not a mistake. Yes, you're just seeing black. <laughs> My lens cover is closed right now because I didn't want to give anybody motion sickness. I'm going to give a quick little tour of uh, the revamping of my craft room, but I thought maybe you should see the mumbo jumbo mess before I unmumbo it. Now, if I can find how to open the lens cover again with the silly camera, I don't usually take it off the stand. All right, here we go. All right, so this is let me go in where I keep some of my books. Moving down, this is something that I'm trying to store painty papers in, sort of like the way Shannon has done hers, but honestly, I don't think this is working for me, but we'll see. And then you can, I can pan back up a little bit. Right there in those white containers are all my different colors of cardstock that are in magazine holders. Down below this, let me move down here and sit down. That maybe it'll make it easier. Below this is um, a shoe holder. Um, I can't remember, but I think part of it broke. And I took it out of the closet and th I thought, well, that'd be great to sit on top of the, the door. Um, this is not a desk. It's a holocore door that my husband painted. And we laid it on top of all of those Michaels cubes, the little white cubes, I'm going pan down so you can see all of them. I'm going slowly, slowly. And as you can see, it's a disaster in here. There are miscellaneous magazines, calendars, any bits of things that I need to go through in there. Then the boxes that you see right here in the corner are things that need to leave the office, but I don't know what to do with them once they leave. So they're just going to sit there <laughs> and collect dust. And when I decide, then they will leave. All right, so I'm going to pan back slowly, slowly around and up. All right, um, where that brown envelope is, uh, it is sitting on top of a white painted wire laminated rack. I think that belongs in kitchen cabinets where you set like plates on under the bottom and then plates on the top. But I use it for my craft room so that I can shove miscellaneous crap underneath it. And um, as you can see, there's a lot going on there. I try to be as neat and organized as I can. And right now today it looks like, well... I won't use that word that I'm thinking about, but it's a swear word. <laughs> um, so there in the corner are these little shelves that people have started using on the backs of their sinks. But I have a gooseneck um, water thing, a uh, faucet, so I can't put it behind there. You know the old faucet that would kind of lay low over the sink, and then you could put the um, this little shelf above it and you could store all kinds of stuff on top of it. Well I've I have three of them and they're all right there in that corner. So there are three that are stacked. See the wood? They're stacked one on top of the other. Um, those two boxes that are the four drawers, those are paper mache drawers, sets of drawers that I made look uh, I don't want to use the word vintage, but I painted them, and then some of them have labels on them, and they store my bookmaking stuff like needles, wax, threads, and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to have to stand up. So with those of you who get motion sickness, turn away. All right, so. All right, so let me give you a little close-up. Um, up here are the books that are completed, my, like my uh, doodle journals, uh, anything like that. I just shoved over there, and there's a pile of books that came from Dollar Tree. See, the, see that nice little brown spot there? Well, I inherited this house we live in from my, my mother when my mother passed away a couple years ago. The thing is, is it has textured walls. Well, we put those uh, keeper, the... I don't know, those supposed to be the things that you can put on and then pull off and nothing happens to the wall. Horse hooey. Took something off of there, put one of those, uh, see, up here, wait. I have my um, 
beaded stars up here. See those white clips up there? You know, the... God, if I could think of the words. Anyway, um, those were up there, and there were like five rods here that covered the whole wall, and I decided to take them down. And when I did and pulled the stuff off, it took the wallpaper, the sheetrock stuff off, too. This room is going to be gutted eventually, so I'm not too worried about it now, but it does look crappy. All right, so there's a shelf that I got at, I think it was at uh, TJ Maxx in Virginia Beach. I, it's scuffed up, and I love it. There's the bookcase that has all my little miniature books and things on it. There's the two boxes that I made that are the cat hand band-aid boxes. There's the flipping photo blocks. And look, Debbie, there's the little red hen. Ha! Ah! <laughs> there's miscellaneous, blo miscellaneous blocks. I can't bear to redo them right now. Um, so that's all my finished books and little journals and mini things. Then down there is my keeper of scrap paper and scrap cardboard. Um, cardboard. Card stock I told you guys about. There's how I store my little things of paint. I think it stores... 24, 48. I hate it. When you go to pick it up, the bottom falls off of it. Not thrilled with it. Then back here in the back, where you cannot see a blessed thing. Man, this thing's heavy. Whew. I'm going to pick it up and it's going to fall apart, so I'm just going to scoot it around. Back in the back here is this cool thing. I'm moving, 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 moving. This is a paintbrush holder that I took my Sharpie fine point pens um, and put them in there. And my husband put a Lazy Susan metal piece on it so that, and I got it off of Amazon, so I can, I can um, do that. Isn't that cool? Because basically I'm a lazy human being. If it doesn't move on its own when I blow on it or something, <laughs> it's not coming in here. This one is made out of a lazy Susan you get from a cheap cooking store. And I think maybe this one came from one of those cook stores you find in Prime Outlet malls. And I saw this idea on the internet. The woman took uh, piping, uh, plastic pipe conduit stuff and stack them up and under and the second layer there's like round pieces of foam core board that elevates the second layer and then there's another piece of smaller foam core board cut in a circle that elevates I don't know if you can see it or not the oops let me turn this around the um, top one right here that has my pens and stuff in it so like I said, I'm a lazy person. La, 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 la. <laughs> so it spins. I like pegboard arrangements, although I'm not sure how this, this one's going to, how long this one's going to stay. There are my adhesives and stuff like that that I use most often. Well, these are the ones I used, use. Okay, is there's a small, uh, often used, kind of often and least often. Least often's in the closet. Kind of often is up here. And and most often is the stuff that's up here. But this little white thing you see in the back, that idea came off of Pinterest. It's made out of dish drying uh, mats, two of them that are zip tied together. And then the little $1 storage uh, things you put in drawers. And there's six of those and they're zip tied on there. So I just stuck it up there and it's hanging on the pegboard holder. Um, I'm working on a project currently, so let me back up and I'll show you how bad the desk looks. Yeah, when I called my business messy table, I did not exaggerate. So I'm in the midst of a project right now, but here, um, let me see if I can get this up. Here is how I store my Stampin' Up! ink pads because they're just too large to be stored in other things that I found that are easy. Everything that I can um, reach quickly is right here in front of me. My gesso, matte medium, page sealer, water. There are my, um, whoa, sorry, Ooh, light. Those are my uh, paint palettes that need to be cleaned and won't be cleaned anytime soon. <laughs> 
Then I have, wow, the light's really terrible either. It's real bright or it's not bright enough. Okay, this is a, a crate that's turned on the side that's like a Coca-Cola crate. You know, the old, for those of you who are of a certain age, those are the Coca-Cola crates. So I shoved in all of the other uh, stamp pads that I use. They all have labels on the ends for the colors because I can't really see the color on the tops of them. My watercolor sets from Prima are in there. Makeup, uh, those makeup rounds that are cotton. My glues, move this out of the way. Uh, let's see what it says in there. Paint, uh, what, uh, Faber-Castell paint pens or brush pens. There's Sharpie markers, Posca pens, so on and so forth. And then the bottom has other kinds of pens, miscellaneous pens in it. All right, so that's that. And there's my tablet. And on this other side are two little white containers that are like the Michaels. They're from Michaels. Uh, that white laminate stuff, and it was meant for holding pens. So they were on sale at Christmas last year, and I snagged them up on a friend's recommendation, Ed Robinson, and um, put my alcohol markers in there. And then, what are these guys? I can't remember what these things are called. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, the Bic, what are they, Kit? Bic Markets. They're starting to go dry. I use them so often. And then there's some other stuff down there, miscellaneous books, and then the stuff that I use on a regular basis, my journals, or any kind of journal type stuff. Then I have containers that were gifted to me by Cindy Utter. There's my uh, well, Tim Holtz miniature distress inks. I've got like four canisters of them. Up there is the... Uh, uh, Yowzer. Sakura field sketch or the field watercolor set which I adore then oh yeah there's more folks <laughs> y'all think I'm so organized all right then there is this corner here which is I don't I can't even describe it it's just a total disaster I have a cart from Ikea which has miscellaneous ephemera in it pens my heat gun paint brushes what is this? Oh, spray varnish. A calculator because evidently I can't do math like I was taught in school. In the back over there are those nine unit white things from, again, from Michaels, which I have come to really not like. Um, that has the, uh, look down there on the bottom, see those uh, cloth drawers? They're not very sturdy and some of the stuff I have to put in there is pretty heavy. And it's time for them to go bye-bye. So I have two of those units together. So each one has nine. So I have 18 cubbies. And every inch of stuff has got crap crammed in it. And it is time for it to go. My Xyron machine. Oh, yeah. And there is my clothes rack. Uh, that's one of those clothes racks where it, it goes in and out, where you push it in when you're not using it and you pull it out. Um, Gina Aarons told me about these really cool... Um, what do you call them? Clips with the with the hooks on them, and I can dry papers there. And then when I'm using it, I'm gonna shove it in there. I have something up there, dry a project drying up there right now that had to be flat. I couldn't clip clips to it; it would mess it up. Up there are all my bins that are labeled that have miscellaneous body parts in them. You know, you saw that video already. All right, so then I went to Walmart because I hate those cloth drawers, and I got the three little drawer things to put other stuff in that's my stamping stuff for like carving stamp carving has a lot of that stuff in it glitter uh adhesives mark making tools stamp supplies carving tools styro stamps yada 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 and then the bottom down there is that uh, lexan container i that i showed you that has all my cardboard box potential book covers that are stacked in there according to the size there's a cinch that my darling youngest son sent to me for Christmas that I have never opened yet. I know. It's shameful. Um, I have a recliner chair. Oh, my purse. I have a recliner chair. It's not a recliner. I have a, a chair in here, a swivel chair, that I sit in when I'm pooped. And I stare at the boob tube and fall asleep. There's where I hang my stencils. And 
See that pile? Those are those silly cloth drawers that I have emptied out, gotten rid, rid of stuff out and stacked them up. I'm not going to get rid of them yet because I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell the, the cabinets, the nine hole cabinets and give them those things. I'm not using those anymore. There is two of those nine units that are set up together one on top of the other. That is filled with different types of yarn and fiber because I knit, crochet, and spin. I know you can't see them very well. And in that corner is stuff, leftover boxes and junk that are, move, are things that are waiting to be put away in drawers as soon as I get this thing arranged. Then we move over to the bins. These are bins that I've been emptying out into this. Let me back up a little bit as far as I can go. These are the, this is the 10 drawer iris cart. I have two, three drawer iris carts that are stacked one on top of the other and they're all labeled and completely full. And then down there is the six drawer iris cart that I am the, I am the least thrilled about because I ordered it even though I knew it said the drawers fall out when you pull them out. But that stuff in there is stuff that goes into my Etsy store that will go into the closet behind there that with the accordion doors. And that will um, not be opened very often. So I guess I'm not going to sweat bullets over the fact that the silly drawers fall out when you open it. I might have to put a sign on there, don't be stupid, you know, just to remind myself. All right, so then let me walk this way. Behind my door is all my quilling paper. Those are cheap curtain rods that you can buy at Walmart for $2 a piece, and there's three of them. And I took cheap wire from, um, let me show you what they are. I took cheap wire from, uh, I'm not going to be able to get it off, from a roll of it from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, one of the two, and I took a jewelry tool and I just made S hooks out of them because. See how many there are on here? A um, couple hundred. <laughs> and I was not going to pay for all those little hooks. So there's my quilling paper I put behind the door because if you, you can see that the door here is the molding is right up against the corner. And I used to have one of those lovely alpha hanging racks in the old house where I could hang it on the back of the door and put more stuff on the back of it but you can't do that here because the door won't close so <clears throat> plan B all right let me move this real quick this thing the drawers in it I've taped all the I've taped the drawers shut so they don't open this is <laughs> my closet that's going to be cleaned all out and organized um, I had a business where I had a craft business, so these are miscellaneous props, um, adhesives, empty containers that I've emptied out. Let me see. Can I reach the... Oh, I don't want to get you guys sick. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to do this with holding the camera. Ugh. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's up there, and it does look like it's a mess, but truly it is organized as it's going to get all kinds of stuff up there that I hardly ever use but I don't want to get rid of it because you know how we are. These are empty empty containers here. I took them all out and put them in the iris carts. I just have nowhere to put them for now. They were labeled. These are other small things. I know what they are. These, let me turn the camera this way. I think there's 20 some odd of those in here in the house somewhere that all have, they're all colors. And they're like pink beads, and then it's all kinds of different beads. Glass beads, paper beads, any kind of bead, but it has to be pink or green or brown, so on and so forth. All right, I'm going to rotate you around. Then I have more paper beads down there. I have jewelry findings. It's a mess, and I can't take it anymore. So I'm going to redo it, and everything is going in Iris Carts, a yard sale or friends or the garbage come on light adjust so there is you all think I'm organized but you can see my shame <laughs> so there it is all of it in its horrible glory <laughs>
Alrighty, so this is the before uh, picture. And in a few days, when I get seven more carts, I'm going to pull this place apart and start all over again. So this is the before, and then I will post the after whenever I'm finished. Now, those of you who think I'm neat, you might want to rethink that thought. See you guys later. Bye.